Hello everybody, this is Mr. Avocado and I will be doing a walkthrough about Virtuous Blood. So this lady just came up to me, her name is Valsa Nirvana and I'm going to listen to her story. I'm sorry, and you are? Where are my manners? I'm Rasa Norvalo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Sure, how can I help? Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please, forgive my audacity. It's all right, Rasa, continue. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. That's all he told me to say. Don't worry, I'll go. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. Good day to you. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Serador. Pleased to meet you, Serador. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Very well, lead on. Splendid. Watch your step. Hi. A lot of mages swear by Rindir's staffs. If you're looking for a staff, that's the place to go. Interesting. So long. Bye. Why do you bother me? Go away. I'm honored by your presence. Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. I understand old Dovin Aaron can still teach a bit about alteration. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one, until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. How do I find him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. Hello Who again, fellow vampire. They strike again. You must hurry. 
My knowledge is at... Roland was always a quiet man. It was... Vampires are clever, so watch your back. Hello again, fellow vampire hunter. I don't have time for you. I've arrived at Roland Jurassic's house. I should begin to search the place for any clues as to his whereabouts. After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think this may be where Roland could be hiding. I should head out there immediately before he has a chance to escape. My dearest Roland, I cannot wait for, your, for you to return from Braville. My heart swells with joy as I know we will once again soon be together. I yearn for you every night and I look beside me in my bed and you are not there. How I wish I could have taken the journey with you. But I understand that though these are dangerous times and I would only slow you down. When you return, perhaps we should get away from the chaos of the Imperial City. Let's go back to the cabin in the woods, the one where you said we would always be safe from the world, the one where you took me in in your arms and sang songs of moonlight and happiness, the one where you said, I love you. Hurry, my love. I arrive at Roland's cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's there. I should be cautious as Cyrodiil warned me that vampires could be very dangerous. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Amantius Electus was killed during a burglary. They say the house was ransacked. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? That bastard! Serido dares accuse me of being a vampire? Me? Ah! He's the one who is the vampire! I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. 
If only I could get my hands on him. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Why didn't you tell someone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. Remain leery of Seridor. Well met. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. I'm not really at liberty to discuss my customers with strangers. I'm not really at liberty to... If you need something enchanted, Calendil has the goods. Say what you're going to say. I like that a lot. Really? Interesting. Oh, please. Don't try to manipulate me. We understand each other perfectly. Excellent. Serator? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, 
and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. Yes, it's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Serator's a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Good day. <laughs>